welcome back to Four Wheel Drive Adventure Crew. My name is Voss, and today is the 4th of July. We are gonna try to uh, make it to the top of the Signal Peak, and uh, I've been getting reports that there's still snow up there. So we got three Jeeps ready to go and check it out for ourselves. It's not like I don't trust people, it's just I would like to have an adventure, and if I can't make it, I can't make it. At least I'll be able to see it myself and take you guys along to show you how much snow we still have in July here in uh, Northern California. So it's been pretty crazy snow year. Last time we were out this staging area, there was snow over those rocks and half of this message board here that's uh, been covered with snow. We're gonna try to make it as far as we can up the trail and we want to look at fireworks down in the valley because the whole valley is supposed to be lit up tonight for the 4th of July celebration and we're going to be up here on top of the mountain looking down at the valley so stay tuned we're about to hit the trail and off we go first time up Signal Peak in 2023 we tried a few attempts this uh, winter but it was way too much snow We'll see how washed out the trail became after this heavy snow year. Normally this trail is rated as easy to moderate, but more on the easy side. Just has few little obstacles here and there, but we'll see if anything changed. Signal Peak on 4th of July. We brought our dog Susie with us. She is afraid of loud noises, so we're hoping that by being with us, we're not gonna have any fireworks with us, so she should be having an easier night than usual. So, and we're trying to escape some of this heat, maybe. And we'll see if we can see fireworks from the top. Maybe not, maybe yes. We'll find out soon. So far, no major changes on this first por portion of the trail. We're about to get to the famous rock in the center of the trail. We'll see how much uh, water runoff eroded the road there. And like always, we have Tanya with her Overland XJ following on all the trails we go we are coming up on this first obstacle a couple rocks here and there we'll see what it looks like Somebody stacked a ton of rocks on the left side of that rock that was in the middle of the road. So now taking the right line is technically would be the harder portion of the obstacle.
camber spot did not get washed out too much. It's uh, still pretty uh, straight, pretty level. Some heavy, uh, top heavy vehicles uh, need to be a little bit cautious about it, but that's about it. All right, from here on, we're just gonna be punching up the hill till we get to the washout ruts in the little valley there. So cool. Oh, some waterfalls even. All right, that's a nice refreshing spot. And it's really cool outside with the water running down. The air feels a much cooler than it is uh, away from the creek. Tanya, try to back up and come up this way. So back up, passenger. Okay, here, try to keep as straight as possible. This trail got a little nastier. All right, let's see Sasha with his freshly installed long arms. Let's see how he will do. Full driver, you're about to drop. There you go. Woo, look at that. Oh, man. Look at that teeter totter. This spot got muddy. A lot of people created a bunch of uh, optional offshoots to get around this spot. But the official trail goes up through this mud hole and up and over i'm not sure if i'm gonna make it but i'm gonna try i just had my kids wash my jeep they'll have to do it again
Ты сейчас... У тебя там яма спереди тоже. Тебя надо вперед пунктировать. Multiple attempts to get over the mud hole. I got myself into a pickle. And now I gotta winch myself out. Do you like it? Did you like it? Yes. No, you didn't. mud terrains when you need them so yeah this is what I was on the side of if I keep going this way it's a hole and I keep climbing up a hill there so the crew is gonna get around that way let me just uh, get my winch and the rope put away and we can keep going According to our map, we are at about halfway point and this is where the beautiful meadows and everything starts. So this is where we're going in through the wood area and uh, look at all these meadows. Look how beautiful it is. Plenty of water this year, everything is green. Plenty of mosquitoes that want to get you. But yeah, there's a camping spot right there. There's a fire pit made out of rocks right there. Pretty nice spot. Secluded away from the wind because on top of the hill, the wind can get pretty vicious. If, uh, if it's like 10, 15 mile an hour wind over here, it'll be uh, 30 plus up top with gusts probably uh, almost doubling that. All right, let's see where that snow is. So we are at this little split, which is, uh, if you go straight to the right, it's gonna be a sharper but shorter way. And if you go straight, it's a more mellow way to go up. So let's go the sharper way. Signal Peak has a little uh, river now. All the snow that's melting is coming down straight down the trail. It's kind of hard to see through my windshield with all this mud splattered all over. But there's the Signal Peak. We just got a little section to go. We have taken a little shortcut to get to the Signal Peak and it's going up this shale rock pretty much uh, vertical going up so there's a small chance of uh, hitting snow right about there when the forest well actually pretty big chance I kind of see it already we'll see if we can get a way around it or through it we're almost there we made it to 7,600 feet and we hit ice. This is one of the snow berms that is uh, up here. And the trail, there's another way to get up right there. So I'm gonna try to find a way to go that way because there is a, there was a two ways to get up 
the signal peak because I think this is like a bypass way and then there's a trail way so we'll see we'll be looking around till we find a way to get up there that is a proper way but yeah look at how muddy my jeep is and how steep this angle is so there's no way I can climb that so we'll see where the trail leads us from here gotta follow some of the old paths over here a little overgrown but they're here and it's vaguely you can see it on some of the topo maps that it passes through here So we made it to the last section at the very top and there's a big huge snow berm there's a tree put a tree saver on it and i'm gonna winch myself up and pull the rest of the group over because we are last 10 feet of the trail so yeah it's pretty nasty I'm standing straight and uh sasha standing on top Whew. running down the hill was a little bit winded made it to the top and uh, we're creating a, a recovery type of situation where we're pulling jeeps over this 10-foot berm and uh, we'll see this is the contraption we got the tree up there snatch block to uh, point because we thought pulling this way but we're seeing that we're gonna start sliding this way if they're gonna Keep coming so we decided to use the same path i already made over there so this is what we have to do to get up to signal peak just like anything else snow wheeling in july but man we already missed the sunset and it's getting chilly so we're gonna grab some old firewood over here and set up in a spot to watch the moon rise in about a couple hours all right, I'm about to winch uh, Sasha up and then uh, we're gonna winch Tanya up as well. No, no, silence, don't, don't, don't fight it. You're making it work. Just go straight. Just like that, everybody made it up. All right, we're gonna go set up because mosquitoes are pretty vicious over here. We'll catch up with you when it's dark. Made it to a beautiful lookout on top of the signal peak. We got a little fire going, some hot tea and sandwiches, and we're gonna be waiting for some bloody moon 
to rise this evening. Hey, there's the freeway down below. And the glow of Sacramento with bunch of sparkles everywhere. Oh, there's, a big one. there's a big firework. Look at all those little sparkles everywhere. Well, it was a, a little epic adventure going up Signal Peak. First of uh, pretty much beginning of July and uh, battling with uh, some snow still. That's uh, interesting. We don't always get to do that. But there's still mountains in California that snow not going to melt till end of August, I think. We'll see. We might be able to venture down south to some high elevations this year. The moon is rising. Blood red moon. There's the moon rising over the mountains of Truckee. It looks like a sunset. But if we look closer, you kind of can tell that it's a moon because it has its face. And everything else is dark around and doesn't have the glow of the sunset. There's the gas station on Cisco Grove. The highway. Going all the way around. And this glow over here is the Sacramento Valley. Well, we're going to be packing up here soon, putting the fire out, and start heading down the hill. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.